I'm Nora Hart, and here's tonight's Fox 12 Flash Briefing. Police in Albany are investigating a shooting where a person was shot in the face. They say the victim who was taken to the hospital and the suspect are roommates. Police tell us the suspect, Garrett Burns, was taken into custody. A man accused in a deadly shooting at a Vancouver retirement facility has died in jail. Prosecutors say 80-year-old Robert Breck opened fire on three people at the Smith Tower Apartments back in October. One of them was killed. He pleaded not guilty and his trial was set for May. Umatilla County says it needs the information by Thursday to determine if federal assistance will be granted for those affected by flooding. The county's commissioner has a step-by-step -step tutorial for filling out the assessment if you have damage to your property. We have a link to that tutorial and the report itself on our website at kptv.com. Let's check in now with meteorologist Ann Campolongo. Well, our dry weather is coming to an end as we head into your Thursday. Uh, tomorrow morning, we start off with the clouds and patchy fog, and then we'll see light showers uh, through the midday and into the afternoon. A few lingering showers there on Friday for your Valentine's Day, uh, but overall, Friday is really not looking that wet of a day. Heading into the weekend, though, it's a different story. Fairly wet on Saturday. We'll dry things out a little bit on Sunday, and then next week, looking relatively nice. A little bit of sunshine there by Tuesday and Wednesday. Sounds good, and thank you for news and weather updates anytime, download the Fox 12 app on your phone or tablet or log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Fox 12.